Joining us now to discuss Bitcoin news and more is Rodrigo Vicuna, Chief Financial Officer at crypto infrastructure firm Prime Trust. Hello there, Rodrigo. Thanks for coming on the show. So, you know, just off the bat, we're seeing a sell off in Bitcoin. Would love to hear your thoughts on why we're seeing this retreat. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me, Christine. Um, I think the sell off really has to relate to the fact that, you know, we're having, um, despite the fact that hash rates are increasing, miners have to cover their, their prior costs. That transition or transitory period from them moving from China to different regions, et cetera, that comes at a cost. And so you have some level of minor capitulation, et cetera. Um, the best kind of one of the best indicators that I kind of look at for that is uh, hash rates and hash ribbons in general, similar to what you were mentioning before. And I think what happens is you have the miners who have inventory selling off, covering their costs. People get a little bit of spooked um, from a spook position, similar to what Jeff mentioned earlier. This week is always kind of a lower week, but the Santa rally is probably right around the corner. And I think 2022 is going to be a bigger year. Right. So at uh, Prime Trust, you had a prediction of $100,000 per Bitcoin uh, prediction by the end of the year. That didn't pan out. I wonder why not. And you mentioned that you still have hope for a big Santa Claus rally. I still believe that there will be a Santa Claus rally. Whether or not it's $100,000, I can't speculate on that one. Um, but I think if we cross over that threshold of around the $70,000, $75,000 mark, that definitely gives me a lot more confidence to say that the 100K mark is right around the corner. All right. Looking at MicroStrategy, they're buying up more Bitcoin. And generally speaking, is that a trend you're seeing among corporates putting Bitcoin on the balance sheet? Definitely. Um, at Prime Trust, we're one of the largest infrastructure providers in the space. And as a result of that, we're able to work with incredibly large institutions and major blue chip players within the overall crypto space as well. And so we do get that direct look into the market and into whether larger FIs are ultimately buying. And I can tell you with certainty that, that is happening um, from, from banks down to traditional fintechs, et cetera. This is something that people want to add to their balance sheet. Mm -hmm. In providing crypto infrastructure, are you also talking to governments about providing those services? We see that in the United States with the congressional hearings being held on crypto. You know, they're looking at crypto and exploring ways uh, that they could uh, incorporate it and potentially create a digital dollar. And El Salvador, of course, is also looking to build out their crypto infrastructure. Definitely. On the El Salvador point, um, actually, Prime Trust is the underlying back end to El Salvador's adoption of Bitcoin. And we work with um, a key client to get that to get that done. Um, I think CBDCs or central bank digital currencies are a core part of the future payments market, remittance market. Um, you know, at any one point in time, we can have trillions of dollars locked up. And that was a core point that was made by um, one of the CEOs uh, in front of Congress yesterday. Crypto is a core way of being able to solve that problem. And I think infrastructure players such as Prime Trust are in a really, really good position to take advantage of that. But moreover, looking at the space as a whole, um, it, it, it leads to an overall view of adoption. As crypto becomes native to what everyone is talking about and it's native to their typical buying experience, it's native to their wallet, uh, it's a core part of what regulation should ultimately then adopt too, because I think the market will outgrow regulation unless uh, unless some clarity is provided.